for sale is my 1975 Sidewinder trailer along with or without the engines. Both the boat and trailer are currently registered in my name. The boat was originally located in Minnesota and then registered in Illinois. The Illinois registration had expired in 2016. The boat has always been used in fresh water, so I was looking for a hull and looking for a specific hull to rig my spare 1991 90 horsepower Johnson VRO V4. I do love freshwater boats and boats without bottom paint. So this side owner is never left in the water, so there's no staining or evidence of a water line. The classic sport interior is complete, and it really is in nice condition. With just a little soap and water, all the dust and grime should easily come off. Originally, the boat was set up with this 1994-90 horsepower Vero Johnson. The original seller told me that the transom and floors were previously done and that he hit a sandbar. The impact of hitting the sandbar took off a piece of the skeg. He also said that it's been sitting since 2016 and it's likely going to need carburetors. At the time, I was in the middle of replacing my first transom on my 1969 Sidewinder Low Pro. I thought I would buy this, throw on my spare 90, and enjoy this 1975 Sidewinder for the summer while I was taking my time restoring the Low Pro. Unfortunately, when it arrived, it became obvious that the bouncing of the engine during transportation weakened an obvious repair and I couldn't trust what was previously done. From all angles, and the rest of the hull looks like it's in nice condition. I can't see any evidence of previous repairs. This is a really sharp looking boat and should weigh in at around 700 pounds. There must have been a cover on the boat or something that caused it to fade at the tip of the bow. As you can see, Sidewinders have amazing lines. This boat fits comfortably on the registered trailer, and from what I've heard, finding one with an intact windshield is nearly impossible. And this windshield is also in great shape. There is the sport wraparound seating, and the seats are centered in the middle of the boat for a comfortable ride. The Metaflake interior condition of the dash will just blow you away. There are full complement of gauges to monitor the engine's performance. The 1994-90 horsepower wrench looks like you would expect for a low-hour freshwater engine. Step one was to perform a compression test, and considering how long it's been sitting, we came up with the numbers of 120, 115, 120, 115, well within normal limits. The lower unit does have a chunk missing from when it hit the sandbar. We checked the gear lube and it looked like it was brand new. The prop was spun and it spun centrically. So here you will hear the engine running before the carburetors were rebuilt. My friend and engine whisperer Kyle rebuilt the carbs and now she purrs like a kitten. Both this engine and my spare use the red connection for the controls. The only difference between the 94 is the setup and all the accessories that are hooked up to it. So this engine is now fogged and put away to allow us to use the 1991 and set that up on the side warranty to make sure it runs. Here is the original video that was sent to me by the seller before I purchased the whaler. Say go. Okay, so today is September 1st, 2021. This is the Boston Oiler 16SL. Um, we're sitting here on the lake today. We're gonna give it a little run to show you that it works and drives. Okay. Um, here we go. Tilt the trim. There's the trim. You see the engine?
good? My intent was to immediately repower this with a brand new Suzuki 90 and find a hole for the two-stroke. As you can see, this is one of the rare examples with the serial number that hasn't rotted off. We connected the red cable, added some fuel, and it started right up. The compression on that engine was also almost identical to the 1994. Both engines look clean and original. Here's the port side, here's the starboard side and the front side, here's a rear starboard, and then the starboard side. Midsection. This can be sold as a package or combination depending on what you're looking for. Like everything in life, plans change. Since I purchased this 1975, another low pro became available, so I want to concentrate my limited time on replacing the transom and floor on that model. I'm also willing to help with my limited knowledge of fiberglass, but I'm just looking to get back what I put into the boat. With everything included, the boat, the trailer, both engines, let's start talking. My cell number and asking price are in the description. I plan on starting the transom on this boat in January. If it's not sold, then the price will change depending on how far along I am. Thank you, and please spread the word. <laughs>